I now look to Marcy Hamilton to continue the case for the opposition. Try following that. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Oxford Union for this wonderful honor. It is a privilege to be here to debate one of the most important and most critically important issues in the world right now. But it is not because the Catholic Church is the sole source of sex abuse. In the United States, we have had one grand jury report after another. We have studied it more than anybody in the world, save the Australian Royal Commission. But in the United States, sex abuse by the Catholic Church accounts for 4% of the sex abuse in the United States. The Catholic Church is just one organization that has orchestrated and covered up and destroyed the lives of children. It does not deserve to be the centerpiece of this discourse. The Catholic Church will never fix itself. But fortunately for us, there is a civil rights movement for children that is saving all children. The church is being forced to repay what it has done. And while I agree with my dear friend Mitchell about the loss of those who have committed suicide in the church, those like Sean McElmail in Philadelphia who could not stay away from the heroin long enough to prosecute a priest. But the world is on a much better trajectory than that. The Vatican meeting was a waste of time. Shame on the reporters who wasted their time over there. That is not the point. The point is, what do you do to save children? What do you do to stop sex abuse? And the answer is being given by civil society and the world right now. It's being given by lawyers like Mitchell Garabedian, who is suing the hell out of the church. But he's not the only one. NGOs, governments, Nonprofits, lawmakers, prosecutors are all standing up to the church. The church doesn't get away with it anymore because the law is changing. We denied justice to victims for so long, but the reason we did is because we were ignorant. One in four girls is sexually abused. One in six boys is sexually abused by the age of 18. The science of child traumatology has taught us that the average age for a victim of child sex abuse to come forward from the church or anywhere else is age 52. Age 52. But we cut most victims out of justice in their 20s, in their teens. We had a system that was guaranteed to prefer the predators and the powerful men who protect them and to destroy the children. The children are going to win because we are rolling back the statute of limitations on child sex abuse in every state, in every country. I have submitted testimony in Chile I have submitted testimony in Scotland, which has some of the most progressive laws in this field. I worked in 15 years in New York, and on February 14th, Governor Cuomo signed the New York Child Victims Act, which does not just extend the statute of limitations, but it opens the door to every victim from the past. 
on August 14th, 2019, you are going to see victims represented by Mitchell and by many others of any age. And those victims are going to court. And you know what's going to happen in court? They're going to get discovery. And you know what discovery is? It's their secret files. The reason we know what we know about the church so that we can condemn it now is because of the law. It's because of the civil lawsuits. It's because of the criminal prosecution. We are not stopping. We are rolling back every statute of limitation with respect to child sex abuse because that is justice. That is the only way we will identify the hidden predators in the schools, in the Baptist church, in Jehovah's Witnesses, in the Catholic church. The law is making them pay. They will change. They are already changing. Not enough. They don't deserve to be the focus of this debate. The Catholic Church is going to change. Just as the Mormon Church in the United States was forced to drop polygamy because the law made it drop that utterly terrible institution that destroys women and children. So I am here tonight. I flew over to debate for eight minutes <laughs> from Philadelphia, the University of Pennsylvania, where I'm a professor, to tell you the doctrine of hope. There is more hope now for child sex abuse victims than there has ever been. And there will continue to be because we are not just asking the Me Too question. We're not just saying, what's your story? We're saying, here's your justice. And so long as civil society continues to hand justice to victims, to empower the victims, and to disempower every powerful institution that destroys children's lives, so long as that happens, Tomorrow is bright, and the Catholic Church is coming back to Jesus. Thank you. Thank you.